this one simple easy fx changed my music videos forever so this is this framer fx that i'm talking about it's super underrated effect and it takes your music videos to the next level for sure you can add it before a transition or like a actual effect and it would go real hard and the best part is it is real simple to do as i said so without wasting any more time let's just get into after effects and show you how to do this so in after effects i have this few clips right here it is all by my variety so big shout out to him so firstly to start off to to create those streamers all you gotta do is create a new adjustment layer and firstly just stream it so it's like turns into one frame make sure you put the adjustment layer before three frames of your exact cut when it seems like curse right here then firstly in here we're actually gonna be adding an effect called minimax and bring up the radius in direction just set it to horizontal right there and with minimax you can uh combine something like uh levels bring up the levels bring up the highlights something like this so we get this kind of like a flashy effect right here going on then now copy this adjustment layer move it uh frame forward then delete all of these and in the second adjustment layer you can add like whatever effect you want but for me i will be using wave warp because i want to like distort it so i'll be adding wave warp and playing with uh with an height maybe set the direction to zero so it like happens in the horizontal manner and then in the style just play around i guess smooth noise is one of the best ones right here which create these like glitchy type of effects right here that you can see that goes super hard and you can copy this like uh like the warp as well and do it one more time so it look a lot more crazier and then in here you can combine it with something like a motion dial of course and set it to 200 by 200 mirror edges and put this before so we remove all those like black spaces right there and now you can add like something like a hue and saturation with it and i'll be using like sapphire chroma warp chroma right here and just like warp it on the opposite direction and bring it up so we have some warp going on right there yeah for me that looks clean maybe in the second warp warp you can play around with all of these values to get like different looks in here maybe maybe something like this and blow it down maybe at the first frame i'm gonna uh, bring up the flash more and now after your second frame is done just copy this and move it uh frame forward delete all of these again and and in the last one i'll be adding a warp right here add warp and in arc just i'm gonna set it to something like squeeze nah not squeeze actually where is it the fissile and just like lower it down so it like creates this like fissile dive look bend make sure the bend is on minus 100 and then in here you can add an infert and in infert i'm gonna send it to luminous then now if you play through you can see we have this seamless transition already going on so that's the effect right there that looks looks super super seamless if i like copy this and show you right here you can see it looks super seamless and looks real cool which i like so yeah you can like mess around and create like different variety of this effect in my essential fx v2 if you don't already know essential fx v2 is my preset pack if you go into fx and presets and user presets open that up and if i show you right here it comes with a lot of like this framers effect itself so if i add it right here and show you you can see we get some like crazy framer effects on this pack like framer 3 which i really love it truly got some like insane effects for sure you can see framer 3 looks so clean and we got two more framers in here so yeah if you want to take this pack out i highly recommend it so let me just add some framers right here so you get a better example on what i'm talking about and now after you add all those framers you can see if we play that through we get these crazy framers effects and if you of course combine it with like different visual effects it goes real hard too so if i put this framers of all and make another adjustment layer right here real quick and add some like effects from my essential effects i love like distortions like so let's just add some distortion from the pack you can see it goes real hard with like those distortion type of effects so yeah if you want to check out this pack like this is literally goaded in here i can add something like a zoom real easily and quick so everything is pre-made for you on the pack but yeah after you like master these like framers fx you can combine it with anything as i said like i can add all of these fx into this and it will look hard bro like actually hard like i can create adjustment layer and in this one what we gonna add uh 
awesome warp distort and if i line that up put it before my framers and play that through you can see everything looks insanely dope with like those framers like bro like it is such a coated off a thing bro cool. so yeah with that i guess we are done and our final effect looks something like this so hope you enjoyed this video this was a quick one but a really effective one so yeah if you did just like hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and if you want to check out essential effects i'll link it in the description of course it is surely the best preset pack out right now so yeah but i'ma see you on the next one peace